today I'm going to do a quick little video on the setup of Hill of Doves. This is the first Anglo Boer War 1880 to 1881, designed by uh, Goffrey Bailey and published by Legion uh, War Games. And I want to thank Legion for uh, sending me this copy. I'll put a link to some of my unboxing down below, but I thought I'd just do a really quick uh, uh, overview of kind of the setup of this and uh, haven't quite decided if I'm going to do, you know, live gameplay or after action reports. We'll see. But uh, the first thing you might want to do is go through the introductory book. The setup is not in the introductory book. This is basically just an introduction to the component. So it's going to tell you what cards you have, what counters you have, and basically what those counters mean. This is a quick go through, you know, read, just kind of, I would just peruse this just to get familiar with the components, but the setup is not in there. The setup is going to be in the examples of playbook. And so what I tend to do, even, I mean, I, I'll go, I went through the introductory book. I kind of went through the rule book really quickly. And then I decided, you know, let's get this thing set up because I like having it set up and start moving pieces around the board as I go through the rules to understand how to play. Plus there is an example of play in this book that I'm probably going to go through first uh, to get familiar with gameplay because uh, this is, it's a solo game uh, and it's based on, you know, a sequence of play, but it's done a little bit different. It's going to be based on these uh, sequence of play cards. You have these uh, decks uh, for each of the phases. There's a strategic phase, an operational phase, and a tactical phase. And the, you're just going to go through these decks, flip through them. They're numbered and they're going to tell you what to do. So each one of the, you know, look at a card, do what's on the card, and then keep going till you get through the end of that deck. And so you're just going to end up going through uh, strategic, operational, and tactical, mainly being controlled by the cards. There's also another deck here for ambushes that is dealing, I think, I think that comes to play in the operational phase. And then you also have um, an event deck over here that I believe uh, comes to play in the strategic. But anyway, haven't got that far yet. I just wanted to get this all set up. Um, and I kind of set it up as I punched out. There, the first time I play something, I like to punch it out and set it up at the same time. But if you go to the um, example of play book, it's going to, you know, right there, first page, a game setup, and it's just going to take you through the setup. It's going to tell you what to do with each of these decks, what where to put each of the counters, and it's just gonna guide you through the whole thing. And I must say, it's complete. I did not end up with any extra bits, which is much different when I build something like a you know, piece of furniture or a bike or what, what have you. Uh, I always end up with a couple of extra nuts and bolts. And I did not come up with any extra bits other than the you know three blank counter that were just there for you know, rounding out the uh, sprue. So um, every every play, every counter found a place, found a home, and you know this is how it's all set up. You just need to follow this step-by-step uh, -step guide, which is pretty comprehensive and gets you where you need to go. And then uh, then you'll start here with the um, start game, and this is the play. The example of play and it's going to walk you through and that's about where i'm ready to start is going through this example of play um i might you know take a look at the rule books one more time again there's three books introductory examples of play and rules i might take a peruse of this really quick before i start the example of play just to get a little bit more familiar with it but this is how i decide to set it up with the strategic board the operational board and the tactical board, and then you have, of course, you have a battle board. This is optional, but when there are battles, then you can put stuff on this board, and it has some of your key charts and stuff that you need to have there. Um, and I'm putting the the decks for each of the of each of the phases on the board. I don't think they're really covering up anything uh, of of too much importance. I'm trying to keep it where they're not, um, but I want to kind of keep them on the board where I can see them. And if I do end up doing some kind of play-by-play, uh, -play, I might uh, do that as well. This is the step counter. I'm not entirely sure where this goes yet. I think this might go on, on maybe on one of the specific cards to follow the steps maybe. 
I have to, uh, I, 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 they said follow the steps. I, I assume it's the follow the steps of the, of the cards, but, um, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. Like I said, this card here has a few things that you need to do on there. Um, and that was the ambush segment, which corresponds to that deck there. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, everything is set up. Uh, if you just follow the example of playbook, you're going to get everything in the right spot. And I think I pretty much got everything where it needs to be and feel pretty good. Oh, and then you also put the Boer counters in a, you know, cup or bowl or whatever you want to put them because they're going to be drawing stuff out of here. This is, you're, you're the British and you're going against the Boers. So that is the, uh, the AI that you're going to be going up against. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd just do a little quick setup video for this. Uh, again, and want to thank the people at uh, Legion War Games for uh, for getting this to me. I'm excited to get this uh, uh, played through, and um, you know at least a few times. But you know, want to go through at least a example playthrough to get a little bit more familiar with it because this looks looks really interesting. Thanks all. <laughs>